Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great day and I'm sorry not to be there with you. Um, my name is William Marks and I'm going to be presenting my Leadership Manifesto to you all. I'm going to jump straight on in and uh, the first topic is all about kind of leading myself uh, and the first point of which is about that I hope I'm always able to show humility and gratitude uh, for all the opportunities that are presented to me. Uh, I'm thankful just uh, to be able to present to you all what it means to me to be a leader thankful to um, have all the opportunities that uh, my career has provided me in the, in, in the past and hopefully in the future. Uh, thankful to live in a country such as Australia and all the amazing uh, possibilities that that presents to me. Uh, and I hope that I'm always able to, to recognise just how lucky I am uh, and be thankful for that. Secondly, um, I've taken a line from a film some of you may know, Any Given Sunday. Um, great motivational speech by Robert De Niro where he talks about how life is a game of inches. Um, that film has some fantastic montages. Uh, I don't even like American football, but uh, but it's, it's still quite quite some uh, great stirring montages there. But that speech is all about how um, life is just made up by all those small um, small individual challenges that you have to face day in day out, making sure that you have the discipline um, and the hardworking uh, dedication to try and make sure you take on each of those in equal measure. And ultimately, you know, if you continue to be putting in that dedication, then you get to points in life where you can look back uh, and recognize how far you've gone from, uh, from working so hard for all those inches. So whilst it'd be nice if life was a quick five, 10 minute montage of hard work, ultimately it's down to making sure you're putting in that effort day in, day out, and the discipline required for that. Now alongside that is uh, the idea that I hope I can also celebrate um, all those small victories that you get along the way. Uh, we have great jobs where ultimately we face kind of those, those challenges, those problems to solve um, every day. And we should kind of enjoy that, celebrate it when we find those solutions, even if it's just a little fist pump under the desk, um, that little um, kind of high five to your colleague, just being able to recognize that, you know, all day we're kind of trying to find ways to come up with innovative solutions and that can provide us a great um, uh, great sense of satisfaction and enjoyment. And I hope that we can always kind of take that step back and recognise. I'd also like to kind of just talk a bit about just being aware um, about my own limitations, um, you know, of which I, I feel that I am, have some awareness. Um, but. The fact that those limitations and, and those kind of potential weaknesses um, do provide me with the opportunity to, to always be trying to grow and develop uh, and that can give me you know that sense of fulfillment hopefully all my life um, as I kind of you know definitely have all the answers now definitely won't have all the answers in 10 years but I'll hopefully always be growing learning uh, and finding that sense of fulfillment through that. In terms of leading the thinking um, Similar to the last point, you know, I, I'm, I can only do so much, but you know, we, have, we all have the chance to, to springboard off that, the greatness of, of greater minds. Um, and I hope that I can always be trying to, to learn from those around me, uh, learn from those um, before us, uh, and just try and you know, achieve things that are probably far greater than what my own limitations can ultimately, um, would ultimately get me to. Uh, and that's a fantastic kind of position to be in. Uh, something I always hopefully try to be to be striving for. Another area I think is important with leadership skills and something that I've found kind of a lot in the past is that you know often we know that there's a huge number of tasks that we need to do, there's hundreds of things that we could be doing at any point in time um, but through that we need to be in a place where we have that perspective to be able to identify what those most important um, tasks are um, that comes, that perspective is brought about through uh, knowing the industries that we work in, knowing our clients and the challenges that they face, uh, knowing the strategies that we have in place and what we're, what we're really pushing for. So that when it comes to, you know, having so many tasks that we could be doing, making sure that we have that focus on those, those, um, those individual jobs that are going to drive the greatest benefit overall. And, um, yeah, that's something that I want to be always trying to work towards. And I guess to be able to do that, sometimes we have to, be able to take that step back um, 
whilst we could be kind of head down 24 7 sometimes we need to be able to take that step back away from the computer maybe out of the office take that time to breathe and breathe and breathe and assess uh, and be able to work from there and I think that's just um, a skill set I'd like to always be trying to, to push towards another mantra I've always well I, I like to try and live by uh, is that idea that if now is good let's let's try and do it now um, that's often true if I'm lying in bed and thinking I should go for a run uh, but then thinking well I could just go later in the day and then before you know it so many um, other things have come up suddenly it's not a good time so uh, you know I, I hope that I can always try and at least have that in, in the back of my mind that uh, if, there's a, if there's a job that should be done and now is a good time to do it let's just, let's just get it done next is a bit more about leading uh, the people and obviously um, we'll hopefully all be working in a very kind of people orientated um, job and career uh, and one thing that I hope I'll always be able to try and do is is be human and be available to those, those people around me ideally kind of not so much a electronic mail form of myself but a, a real person that we can have real conversations with um, and I can get to know those people around me and they can get to get to understand understand me a bit so that's something I'll, I'll always try to be to, to be working towards I've been trying to think a bit about um, some of the leaders I've worked with in the past and what's made some of them better leaders than others. Uh, and I guess those leaders that I've had huge respect for and I've enjoyed working for, those that, have, uh, that I've probably flourished the most underneath, that um, where I've achieved uh, the most in my career and accelerated the most. And I hope that's something that I can also try and try and push for, so that those um, that may report into me can, can hopefully um, uh, really find work that they find fulfilling, satisfying, and that kind of uh, increases their skill set as they go along. One way I'd like to try and be doing that all the time is to be both that tightrope and the net. So challenging those around me to, to try and take some steps that they might otherwise uh, find quite daunting, but knowing that they've got that support there, that, uh, that they can fail and be okay. Hopefully the net will be low enough that they won't want to fail, that we want them to try and you know, take each step and get, get across that tightrope. Uh, but I want to be able to kind of challenge and support in equal measure. Lastly, with, with leading people, um, I guess whenever there's, you're working with a team, there's times that you want to coach, times that you might want to, to influence. Uh, a strength I feel I have and um, I can always push harder on is that sense of being able to understand, coach and influence through understanding the point of view of, of others. So I'm not trying to dictate, I'm not trying to enforce my point of view. I try and um, understand where they are, what their points of view are, their knowledge set, etc. And help them kind of come to um, solutions on their own or help them kind of um, see both sides of the, of the picture if needs be. Um, so uh, being able to be empathetic when necessary, guide and influence. Moving on to uh, leading a healthy work-life balance. Um, so I guess in every life there's, there's going to be stress and trouble, but when, you, when you're worried that can feel like devil. And um, the most important thing for me is to work somewhere and live a life where I've got that um, kind of supportive network around me. Um, those who I can offer support to if, if they need it, and those who I can ask for help if I need it. Um, so always trying to make sure that I'm not being lost in my career, lost in work, but have that network around me that I can support and support me. So to do that, I want to make sure that I'm always making time, time for my friends and family uh, and my passions, um, making sure that you know I'm spending enough time in the sea, which is partly why I'm in Australia, swimming, surfing, doing whatever I can just to, just to be in the water, um, or in the mountains or anything else that kind of really kind of you know, I love in life. So I always want to make sure that I'm kind of giving enough time to that. And that means that I want to be taking advantage of, of every opportunity that, um, that gets provided, that gets offered to me. Uh, saying yes more than saying no. Um, and being thankful that, again, um, that those opportunities do kind of arise. 
and that there are people that I get to share those, those opportunities with. So that brings me to the end of my manifesto. Uh, no idea if that's within the time, but hopefully it is. Uh, thanks very much for listening, and I hope to see you all very soon. Thanks.